Hello, my lovelies, and welcome back to my YouTube. So it is currently three in the morning. Um, this message needed to get to someone because it was just itching to get out. Uh, yeah, so we're going to see, you know, what people are saying about you behind the scenes. And I, you know, I'm not just going to dive in looking for the bad things. I actually think that this is going to be a more um, positive reading, but I don't sugarcoat anything. So if something negative comes out, I will tell you. So just trigger warning about that. Um, but yes, um, I do personal readings. Uh, they are, you know, pre-recorded. They're not live or, you know, live chat session or whatever, anything like that. Um, please allow three to five business days for them to send. They're on a, a sliding scale. So you can pick whether you want it to pay 15, 25 or 35. Um, and I also have 24 hour express shipping for 55. Um, no pressure to ever buy one. These are completely free, the ones on YouTube. <laughs> um, so yeah, let's go ahead and dive into it. Pick any group that calls to you, and I will see you in your reading. Hello, group number one, and welcome to your reading. Okay, so we are going to see what people are secretly saying about you, okay? Again, I feel like this is going to be a more positive reading, but we'll see whatever comes up, all right? Um, automatically, just before I even started pulling cards, I heard something about purple. Y'all could be purple people, you like purple or whatever, um, but I'm hearing purple. Uh, purple's so popular right now. It's the crown chakra. I think that's because, you know, everyone's waking up to all the stuff that's happening in the world. So we have the seven of wands here. Ooh. Um, we have the ace of cups. Of course, that would fall on the ground. That fell really far. Hold on a moment, y'all. The card that flew across the room upward was the emperor. So without a doubt, people are secretly intimidated by you because they see you as their competition especially in the workplace some of y'all might be in a competitive field okay so you might be in um corporate or entertainment okay and people see you as that person who's like you make things look easy all right so i see people like you know at the office you know lunch or whatever i don't know where people have their gossip in the office anymore I haven't worked in an office in years, but I see them whispering like, oh my God, like I just can't keep up with so-and-so. So you might be an overachiever. Um, you might be a Virgo sign. I'm a fellow Virgo. I feel like we're workaholics sometimes. Um, but people are very intimidated by you with whatever you do for work. Now, if you're sitting there and you're unemployed, which no judgment whatsoever, um, you know, people are still intimidated by your potential, okay? They are still like, you know, like even though so-and-so is unemployed, like they still have a lot of money or there's, they still have a lot of safety nets. There's something about you having stability that they're also a bit intimidated by, okay? Um, some of you might have kids. This is a random thing I'm picking up on. Some of y'all might have kids. So the way that you raise your kids is impressive to some people. A lot of people actually, they're kind of like, Oh, like, so-and-so is one of those parents who actually, like, t like reads to their kid or, like, helps their kid with homework. They don't just, like, let the school do everything, you know? So if you have a kid, uh, you are very, like, active in their lives. Or if you're planning to have a kid, you would be one of those people who actually does it when they are financially stable, when they're mentally stable. Like, you would actually plan it out very well. All right, uh, let's continue going. Beautiful messages so far, I think. All right. Yeah, you're definitely, I don't know. I feel like this is an earth sign group. So you have the hermit. You have the page of swords. You have the knight of cups. And then you have the nine of wands. So I think people kind of see you a little bit off to yourself, okay? Like maybe you don't like how do I put it? You don't show all your cards, not to, you know, you know, say that while we're pulling tarot cards, but it's kind of like you're the person who moves in silence. I get that. I do the same thing. Like I never tell people what I'm actively working on or actively doing. I always kind of tell them after the fact, because I just, oh, you had the judgment card. Oh, 
the judgment card was hiding behind the nine of wands yeah that's not a coincidence um people will judge you because you're so guarded actually it's kind of like i don't know how to put it but people might be like oh like we are sitting here you know sharing about ourselves being vulnerable but group number one is not what's up with that you know what i'm saying they're very much just all up in your business for no reason or they want to be all up in your business and you're not letting them please understand that people have to earn access to you all right um i feel like us especially you know women and femmes people just believe that they should automatically have access to us and it's like no you have to earn that all right so i definitely think that you're the type of person who protects their reputation and also their privacy you know with a sword all right and i feel like this has brought you a lot of success please understand that everything is energy so if people are sitting there and they are uh hating on you okay they're hating on you they're talking behind your back yada 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 you know, that's still energy they're giving you. And you can transmute that energy into something positive. So you're sitting here and you're listening to me talking about how people are, are judging you, right? You could sit there and harp on it in a negative manner, or you could say to yourself, hey, you know, if people are talking about me, I must be doing something really good. And you are doing something really good, okay? You know, I think celebrities do a really good job of this okay and you know i don't agree with everything celebrities do i don't agree with anything with everything anybody does but there are some celebrities whose whole entire career like i know y'all have thoughts about her as do i sometimes but you know trisha paytas for example her whole career is taking people's you know assumptions about her and you know everything like she's the one of the biggest trolls out there so she's made i think she's a millionaire or something i don't know and i'm not saying this is all about money like you could take that energy and you could transmute it to help your community you could take that that um energy and you know help your family okay it's all about what you do with the energy that people give you okay the energy that people give you is not an end-all be-all i do see people starting to see and respect your decision to be more to yourself more okay especially as you rise into this more emperor like energy people are being like you know i i get why so and so isn't an open book okay maybe they have um a lot to protect okay you could have a family you're taking care of um <clears throat> you know what i have these little uh beads right here that have uh letters on them i want to get some initials at the end so just a quick note to myself about that um so yeah but i definitely see that people are starting to respect your decision and decision more especially in this tumultuous world the stark energy world um you know you have to protect yourself so i really commend you group number one for not letting everybody in your energy okay let's get some more sunflower cards or get let's get some soul flower cards excuse me see what people are saying about you okay that one wanted to come oh okay that one really wanted to come out <clears throat> so you have rosemary which is clarity combined with rose which is joy okay i feel like you're a team motivator like i'm just picturing somebody in this office full of like more quiet and reserved people and i feel like you're a natural light like i don't feel like you're like annoying at all i feel like you're more positive you're the person people could come to for clarity and guidance some of you might also be some type of tarot reader yourself or intuitive but people you know even though they see that you are very private there's a sense of security okay a sense of dependability about you i hear people saying like oh like you know let's get let's make sure that um so and so has this assignment for work or at school or whatever because they will actually like get it done and they'll get it done uh really well 
okay? So I definitely see people feeling like they can depend on you, um, which is always good, all right? Um, you make your family very happy, okay? So if you're still in contact with your family, which if you're not, no judgment, um, they, like, you bring happiness to them. So you could really love your family, okay? Or you could be an event planner with your family. Like, say for instance, y'all haven't gotten together in a while. You will be the person who is like, oh, hey, y'all, like, you know, let's go meet at this restaurant this weekend. You know, like you're to yourself, but also you do really respect and want and need community as we all do, but you are the person who's actually gonna make it happen. All right, let's get some of my herb cards, all right. <clears throat> okay, so you have truth, which is aura. You, like, I swear this is an earth sign deck. Um, earth sign group. Doesn't ne necessarily have to be, but I feel like it is. Uh, because I feel like you don't bite your tongue either. And I think this is why you also have some haters, because you don't bite your tongue. Like, I feel like people... There is one person, I think maybe an ex here, who is still a little bit bitter about how he might have read them to filth. And I don't even think that, I don't think you mean to do these things in a, uh, with the intent to hurt people, okay? I don't think that you mean to say these things with the intent to be an a hole, okay? I think that you just call the situation like it is, and people don't like that. All right, people can't handle that, especially if they're not where they want to be and they see you where, you know, they would like to be. They always have something to say. Okay, so make sure you're, you know, reflecting on that, you know, and not just being like, okay, whatever, because we still do have to process judgment, right? Uh, we transmute it, but we still have to process it because it can hurt sometimes. Um, I am seeing people uh, saying that you're honest, you know, like, even though you're a bit quiet and to yourself, there's a sense of like, honesty, like if so and so said that there's nothing, you know, let's just use a random example. If, <laughs> if you said to people, hey, there's nothing illegal behind the scenes or whatever, they would believe you, okay? Um, they still want to get in there and kind of scope out what's going on, but they do take you as someone who does not lie, okay? <clears throat> and it could be because of, you know, I don't know how to, how to put it, but the nature of how you say things, okay? Like, you're a person who's very intentional with your words. Like, I used to be like that. <laughs> Believe it or not. <clears throat> Excuse me, y'all. But not anymore. So, you know, that's always a good trait to have, being intentional uh, with your language, okay? Let's keep going. You have this six of wands. You're going to be successful regardless is what I heard someone just say or what people are saying about you. Um, so maybe there is a struggle with your career um, or maybe a goal that you've been trying to reach for a long time isn't panning out exactly how you thought it would or um it's just a little bit slower than you want it people are saying that you're going to be successful regardless you know i had one of my biggest haters one of my biggest uh arch nemesis right they said something one time they were like you know i don't like so and so but she's going to be extremely successful one day and i will always think about that because i'm just like even your haters see your potential like you're number one and if I had to pick a group, this probably would be my group. I mean, I haven't done the other groups yet, but I definitely see you as a person who people might hate on, but they never doubt you in how you're going to be successful. You're very much a person who can stand on their own two feet, very much a person who doesn't need the affirmations of others, okay, or the confirmations of others. What else? What else? Oh, that card flipped out. Your cards are coming out so aggressively rebirth okay so y'all could have had some type of transformation recently maybe you had a glow up of some sort people are talking about it okay or maybe i heard before i was like pulling this card i heard that there might have been an old relationship that you got caught up on and you've healed from since then and people are talking about how 
you know, they can see it on you. Like maybe you started to date again, or maybe you started to take more uh, care of your appearance. Whatever it is, people are noticing your physical attributes in a very um, positive manner, okay? Um, something about like your jawline or something. Like you could have a very defined jawline. Um, and I don't know if this is psychologically proven. I forget, honestly. But I feel like strong jaw lines, you know, I think they always symbolize like power, okay, no matter what gender you are. Um, but yeah, even your face holds a lot of like powerful energy. All right, let's keep going. Okay, so you have Omo, which is family. Like I said, like you, you could be a group that really takes care of their family. And y'all like, just snaps to you okay um because yeah, that's hard like everyone in a family has their own way of doing things and their own this and that it's not easy so for you to be able to help your family to pull your family together yeah especially in a way that's not abusive or a way that's not done out of they don't your family doesn't respect you because they fear you Okay, they respect you because you're respectable, all right? You give them <laughs> a lot to respect, okay, with how you show up for them, with how you listen to them, with how you're honest with them. So people are also um, saying that as well. You could have an older family figure here, a grandparent who is very proud of you. I feel like they might not say it all the time to you. I feel like they say it to you, but not as much as they do but to other people, like, they could be the cute little grandma who's like, look at my phone, look at my baby, you know, um, or they could carry a picture of you around somewhere, but you're definitely being talked about by an older family member in a very like good way. Like this could be a family member that you've always connected with. Like maybe they always tell you like, oh, you were just like me when, you know, I was younger or whatever. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely seeing people want to, you know, boast about your accomplishments all right let's keep going what else what else okay ten of swords here of course every time i'm about to wrap up a reading like you'll just get like a power message at the end six of cups and okay so you could have had maybe not the best childhood Okay, you could come from a family that struggles economically, um, or it could have just been a tumultuous upbringing. You could have also been bullied a little bit. Whatever that is, I think people, the people who have hurt you, they still think about this. They still think about how you, how they could have been there for you more, how they could have seen your success through a little bit more. That was very clear. So maybe you didn't have people. Maybe you were the person who people didn't always believe in. Like, you know what I'm saying? I'm thinking of, this is very random because I was just talking to a friend about this on the phone today. Um, but she, I don't know if y'all have read Lord of the Flies. I feel like we all had to read that in America in high school. But I'm thinking of like Piggy, okay? And how people would just attack Piggy for no reason, okay? They were also being very fatphobic to him. Um, but, you know, maybe you were piggy not necessarily in size okay but like people it was very easy to pick on you because maybe you were nerdy awkward whatever it, it, it is and when i say easy i don't mean that that's acceptable at all As someone who was bullied i'm still bullied now but <laughs> it's like people see you as oh if i bully group number one people aren't going to really notice or care because you know Maybe you were awkward or something like that. You know how the social hierarchy goes, especially when you're in like high school, middle school, elementary. Um, I see those people actually looking at you now and actually not even just looking at you now, reflecting on what they did to you. And like, they feel some type of way. Like I see like this like old friend group or something or like old, like whatever town that you grew up in. And that's, ugh, I can't imagine living like I know people have to do it for financial reasons, and I 1,000% understand that, but I'm so happy I don't have to live in the hometown that I grew up in. I had to go crazy. But I see someone at like an old town bar being like, oh, yeah, you remember so-and-so? Yeah, we used to like be really rude to her or him or whoever. 
whatever your pro- your beautiful pronouns are, um, like I see them being like, oh yeah, that sucks, and then like taking a swig of their drink or whatever. It's like, but they genuinely mean it. Like they might laugh it off, but it's kind of like, oh, like maybe we shouldn't have excluded them. Um, so you are definitely having some people who have remorse for how they treated you, but I feel like you're a transmuter, like you're a natural magician. Okay. You take people's energy and you transmute it. And I think this is how you've gotten so much success. You're kind of like, you know, I'm going to show you, but I'm also going to show myself and also show up for myself and show up for the people who have believed in me. I'm very proud of you. I don't even know who you are, but <laughs> I'm very proud of you. Let's get um, a soul flower or two to wrap up. Okay. Beautiful. Barrage, which is the optimism card. You know, you're the type of person who can find beauty in a junkyard. So even if you are listening to this and you're like, I don't have my shit together. Oh, excuse me. <laughs> Note to self. Edit that out. Um, maybe you don't have your stuff together. Okay. Maybe you feel like you don't have it together, but, uh, you do. Okay. More than, you know, you think first of all, and also you're just being optimistic about it. You're like, oh, I don't have this now, but I will have this later. And I think that kind of scares some people because like they might be in a worse situation than you. I mean, a, a better situation than you. And they're still not as confident about their situation as you are. And I think this is why you have that gossip. You have that uh, people talking stuff behind you because it's very much projections. You have to understand people's judgments of you 99.9% .9 of the time are just projections. As someone who does social media, you know, when people are attacking me, it's from their own projections most of the time, okay? Um, but this is what I have for you, my love bugs. I hope that this reading resonated. I do give personal readings, okay? They are recorded and then I send it to you via email. Um, they are available on Etsy. Uh, don't get scammed. I do not reach out first. I Listen, I'm not about to go to jail about that. Um, but yeah, it takes three to five business days. Please have patience. It sometimes takes more. But thank you so much for being here. And I hope you have a beautiful rest of your day. Bye. Hello, group number two. And welcome to your reading. We started at 2233. We're starting at all angel numbers today. And I'm not planning that. It's just naturally happening. Um, but welcome to your reading. We're going to go ahead and dive into what people are saying about you behind your back. Again, this is becoming a lot more positive reading i knew it was going to be more positive but group number one had a very positive reading again we'll just take everything how it comes so if positive things aren't coming out i will not lie to you so let's go ahead and get into it all right so group number two what are people saying about you okay behind your back oh okay so you have the higher font i always pronounce that wrong it's just part of my personality now <laughs> been doing this five years <laughs> you have the knight of pentacles okay and then you have the devil card interesting so give me a second here group number two hold on it's kind of like i'm hearing that you are not afraid to show people the shadow of everything so maybe you're the person who you know, at work, or if you're working in a group or whatever, you're the person, I do think that people can sometimes call you a negative Nancy, but you're not being negative, you're just being truthful, okay, um, and this devil card here, when I see that combined with the knight of pentacles, you could have people saying that, oh, so-and-so could, could be a lot farther if they didn't do this X, Y, and Z, or whatever, so maybe you do have some type of bad habit, let me get my other deck let me get my oracle cards because what is going on mm, guidance which is yawa it's like i feel like someone who's like deep deep into their dark side all right and i don't mean that in a negative way okay so maybe you do a lot of shadow work maybe you work with darker entities as a person who works with both the light and the dark like i'm thinking of persephone boom um 
I don't know too much about Persephone. I'm really diving into her more now. I'm getting way more. I'm just getting back to my spirituality, y'all. Like, you know, that's what I always wanted to do online in the first place. And I just saw 44. I'm flipping through my little book just to make sure I know the exact, you know, interpretation of this card before I just do a channel. But uh, 44 could be significant to you. Um, but yeah, getting back to my spirituality. But Persephone you know, she spends time in the underworld, but also like, you know, she leaves the underworld. <laughs> That's a terrible explanation of Persephone. Go look her up yourself. Okay. Um, but yeah, I'm definitely seeing someone who's more comfortable, who is comfortable with the light and the dark. Okay. Uh, this says in the book, okay. So she's actually giving uh, gifts. Her gifts are in the form of shell. She's giving gifts to mommy wata okay so some of you might work with mommy wata she always comes up for me these days beautiful beautiful uh like to work with um but i definitely see that you do work with the light and the dark okay uh this says that this card appears it's you know to give yourself a large assortment of flowers so maybe it's time to celebrate your accomplishments more um you know, some of y'all could have had a fight with addiction in the past, okay? And I don't mean just like a light addiction, not to, you know, undermine any severity of addiction, but you could have had an addiction in the past. And some people still talk about this, honestly, and some people do contribute your darkness to this, but I think that they also admire that you you have gotten over it. So maybe y'all are celebrating some type of sobriety, uh, or maybe just people are noticing that you're not partying as much or there's something about you not doing uh, doing something as much as you used to okay i just let me get these initials now because i just remember that i forgot to tell group number one their initials i'm gonna have to go back and do that so let me get your initials right now of what people of the people who could be talking they stuff about you okay all right, so we have J, A, and V, okay? So those could be um, some initials of the people who are talking, talking their talk about you. All right, J, A, and V, okay? Um, I'm also hearing that you might have a karmic partner. I know we feel so weird about saying karmic anything these days, but I feel like you could have had a partner who was holding you back and you've left them. And people are still wondering if you like are secretly talking to them, okay? So maybe you've been more bubbly recently and people are like, oh, it's because they're talking to so-and-so. And it's like, no, you're more bubbly because you're standing on your own business, okay? Um, but yeah, people are definitely talking about some type of ex-relationship that you might have had. You have very interesting energy. It's like, mm, there's something else here. Let me see. Okay, so you have the hermit card. You could like... This is, the, I feel like this whole reading so far is people who are just really good at veiling themselves, really good at shielding themselves. And you have to be like that in this world. Like, y'all, when the economy is messed up, not to bring the economy into this reading, <laughs> but things are all wonky donkey in the world, okay? Uh, people try to find any way to let that out okay so you know you might have people who are trying you more okay or people who are just trying to be invasive with you a lot more maybe you were the type of person in the past to like kind of tell all of your business and now you've stopped that and people are like what is going on um, and i think that's a threat to some people again you kind of have like this like I don't want to use any specific names, but you have like this kind of like dark deity type of en uh, energy. And I don't think that that's bad whatsoever. Um, and people are kind of just looking at that and they are intimidated by it because they can't embrace their shadow side as much as you have. You know, when people really harp on something within us, it's sometimes because they want that attribute or that trait uh, for themselves. All right. Just some things to think about. Let's get some soul flower cards. What's going on with this? Milk Tistle. Forgiveness. Yeah. A lot of y'all have had to 
really move on from who you used to be i'm seeing a party girl party guy party person okay a person who used to be like that i'm seeing someone who maybe you were i don't want to say you're not a mean girl but i think that you might have been more reckless with how you said things in the past okay and maybe this is why you're so comfortable talking about the bo about both the light and the dark now because you used to just be very flippant with whatever you said okay um but you definitely like have had to apologize for a lot of people i don't know i think some of y'all have had to apologize to your younger self okay maybe you didn't protect your younger self as as much as you um wanted to okay let me get more cards because i know i sound unsure right now mm -hmm. you're a very difficult group to figure out you have a great diviner whenever this card comes up it tells me that this person is very spiritually connected like who are you group number two you know not to be like a a kiss behind okay <laughs> But I see you being like, you're very well protected. Like even me trying to like permeate, permeate, penetrate. There we go. Penetrate your, your energy. It's like this blockage right here. But let's dive a, dip, a bit deeper. Initiation and then you have the future love letter. I love you. So yeah, a part of you is definitely trying to heal your younger self and forgiving your younger self and just uh apologizing to your younger self for things that you did okay so you could be doing inner child healing um but with this initiation card and just this overall energy um i see that you are a group who has taken their spirituality and or religion a lot more serious lately okay uh, maybe that's why i saw the the mommy wata card you know mommy wata doesn't just pop up and everybody's reading like that okay so maybe you're some of you are actually planning to go to africa and get an official initiation of some sort okay um some of y'all might be going through a dark night of the soul some of y'all might just be doing some type of spiritual test okay but you are definitely seeking to become stronger with your spirituality i just heard i can handle it i can take it all right so you're not gonna back down okay maybe maybe the darker path with work you know take it how it resonates maybe that darker path is something that has brought you more success okay let me see your younger self actually wow god dang it y'all i ripped my nail off <laughs> yesterday by mistake and I had to take the band-aid off when I was washing dishes and just never put it back on. TMI. Uh, the sun card. Maybe you were a lot more cheerful when you were younger and then some things happen in your teen years or your early 20s or something. And, you know, that caused you to become darker. But I feel like you're going back to that, um, you know, you're revisiting that inner child and you're healing them a bit more or like trying to pick up on their energy a bit more to heal your current self okay um i do see you getting out of any type of you know stuck energy that you're currently in so maybe you've been stuck in one place for a little while um you're definitely coming out of that uh i feel like this is just turned into a regular reading we're supposed to be focused on what people are talking about about you but i really feel like people are just talking about your journey and your transformation they're talking about all of this um i do see with this sun card maybe people said like oh group number two when they were younger they were so like a goody two shoes they were so positive and everything like that and now you've just completely changed and i don't say that in a bad way i just say that for how it is you've just changed and you're going to have some people who stay and some people who don't stay because of that. Uh, you do have some people who are irritated that they can't permeate or penetrate your energy. Okay. Um, you also have a good poker face. All right. So I think people get kind of weirded out by that. Like, you know, those people who give you backhanded compliments or those people who try to make fun of you and they try to pass it off as a joke. They're kind of like, oh, you know, I wasn't really, I didn't really mean that. It's like, yes, you did. Let's not lie to ourselves. You know, you're not going to let them break you. 
So you might sit there and smile with them like, ah, but you're not going to take that to heart. And you're also not going to keep that person um, in your main circle. You're also very good with about, about keeping your main circle very clean. Okay, so if someone is not meant to be there, they're not going to be there. All right, really about stand on business type of energy for you. All right, let's keep going. Okay, the Empress card and the Chariot. Y'all are looking really good lately. People are also saying this. You could be doing your makeup in a more dark way. Okay, something about maybe you're doing siren eyes. Okay, like those, like the eyeliner that goes really deep into the inner corners or whatever. Um, but they're saying that you are looking really good. Maybe you're spending more time on your like hygiene routine or your beauty routine or whatever. But people are noticing that you are just looking a bit better. And they're kind of like just intrigued. I'm kind of getting like, what is that one girl from Beetlejuice? The main character in Beetlejuice, not Beetlejuice himself, but like the uh, daughter. Okay, you could be dressing like that. You could be dressing uh, like Morticia. Okay. Um, but yeah, something about your eyes is very attractive to people. You could just have nice eyes, but the way you do your eyes in particular is really attractive. Um, I'm also seeing something about, hmm, someone doesn't want to hold you back here. You know, it, mm, you could have some, like a friend. Eh, I don't even think it's a friend. I don't, someone in your life who's very close to you might be feeling as though they're holding you back in some type of manner. Okay. They might be feeling as though like, oh, like, Maybe if I wasn't in so and so's life, you know, they'd be a bit further. I don't know who would say maybe a partner is saying that, okay? Or maybe a potential partner who wants to come in is saying that, but they kind of look at themselves as like a dusty or something. So they're not going to um actually like take the leap and uh, you know, approach you or something like that. But yeah, like you're I don't know how to say this in a nice way. But I feel like you're climbing social ladder. I hate saying that because I, I hate that we have a social hierarchy in the first place. But um, people are kind of seeing you and respecting you a little bit more. Um, maybe it's because of your appearance. I hate that that's the truth. But people might be seeing that you're taking more pride in how you look. And as a result, they're taking, in more, taking more pride and intentionality with how they treat you. Okay. Let's get some more cards here. Let's get one or two more cards. Three popped out. Okay, three cards. <laughs> so you have the truth card that popped off for number group number one, two. You have universal oneness, transcend. And then you also have cloud meditation, look up. Yeah, y'all are, if you haven't already gone through some type of deep spiritual transformation, you are. Maybe you left organized religion and you joined spirituality or vice versa. Take it, take it how it resonates. Um, but people are looking at your spiritual glow up as well. And like when I look at these two cards, the universal oneness and the cloud meditation, I do feel like you embrace your light side. I do. I just feel like maybe you haven't embraced your dark side as much in a spiritual manner and so that's what's taking the focus like i think about myself and how i used to just always dress very dark and now i just do both because it's like we're all both of almost everything um okay so for some of you you could be exploring your gender a little bit more on uh, gender expression so maybe you're dressing more androgynous and people are commenting on that you might be also attracting more attention from the same sex okay um the same gender like people are like ooh, like you know is so and so like you know lgbtqia plus uh that could also be coming through okay um but yeah a lot of there's like a huge spotlight on y'all right now and i think you can handle it maybe you've always had this spotlight on you because of you know past antics like i don't know i feel like i'm getting someone who used to be like a party girl like what's that one song Lo mama a party girl she just want to have fun too i forget what that song. it's called party girl i forget who it's by um so you could have been in the club every weekend you know piping it up or, <laughs> or something like that um but either way 
I think people are starting to give you the respect that you deserve. They're not looking at you as like this like immature, like 20 something, you know, if you're in your 20s, um, you know, person anymore. They're like, okay, they, they're a little bit more put together than I thought. They're not as crusty, dusty, and rusty as I thought. Um, but yeah, okay, group number two. I think that's all the cards that want to come out for you. All right. Um, I do personal readings. Uh, they are, you know, pre-recorded and then sent via email. They take about three to five business days and you can only book it through my Etsy. Don't get scammed. I'm not these fake accounts out here. I'm not about to go to jail over that BS. Okay. Um, but yes, my loves, this is what I have for you. Thank you so much for allowing me to read for you. And I hope you have a great rest of your day. Bye-bye. Number three, why do I always do that with y'all? Hello, group number three, and welcome to your reading, okay? So today we are going to get into, you know, what people are saying about you behind closed doors, okay? I think that the readings have been more positive, all right, to be honest, um, but, you know, I won't sugarcoat anything. <laughs> so yeah, just a trigger warning about that. We're also going to get some initials too, um, so let's go ahead and get into it, okay? What's the gossip on you? What's that tea? okay oh, right the lovers doubt right okay some people might be in your business about your relationship or your love life let's see huh that's interesting some of y'all could have had a big breakup here like i'm picking up on um when kanye and kim split not saying you're them or a celebrity or anything you could be uh <laughs> but like like for for some of you take it how it resonates because i'm getting two different sides to this but i feel like for some of you you were in an it couple relationship like i'm thinking of who's the it couple now kanye and kim were you have mgk and megan fox i know trigger warning um i feel like you are definitely like everyone looks at your relate everyone was looking at your relationship like they're gonna be together forever or like what are they gonna do next like Krishan rock blue face and i was like it doesn't have to be abusive at all but i feel like y'all broke up or maybe things aren't good and now everyone is just hyper fixating on that some people want your man okay i'm just gonna say flat out y'all some people want your man okay you could have pulled someone who is either attractive or wealthy or both okay and not just that i feel like um you know maybe that this person had a lot of suitors and they chose you okay and i think things are just a bit rocky for some of you this is the second side of the reading that i was getting like some of y'all aren't broken up but maybe things are just difficult because relationships are difficult like you're not gonna just be there all sunshines and butterflies all the time so you have people kind of looking from the outside or trying to look from the outside and y'all have done a good job of hiding it um but they're like what's going on with them like they used to go to this restaurant every week and they were posting on you know insta facebook whatever and now they're not doing that you have people in your business about your love life okay there could be a canceled wedding a delayed wedding like maybe some of y'all you know publicly posted that you know someone proposed or whatever and now they're like okay is the wedding ever gonna happen like excuse me that's confirmation because my cat just he's so cute he just hit my table um let's keep going Ooh, mm, mm, mm. you have offering by santa Moret. someone could have died like <laughs> this is a wild reading um for some of you you could have had a family member pass recently and you know a family member friend someone met a pass and you have people wanting to make sure that you're okay okay maybe you haven't been replying to people as much because you've been a little upset behind something you have people wondering if something really tragic happened okay um people people can sense that something is wrong right now with you not to make you paranoid whatsoever but people can sense that something is a bit off maybe your relationship is going perfectly fine and your energy is just different because of whatever you're going through and people are trying to contribute that to all these things they're trying to play a little investigator but they can't because you know you respect your privacy you're like you're not getting all up in these you know in these you know in this business okay um and you know you are allowed to limit people 
limit people's access to you. All right. Let me get some of these initials now before I forget. I just saw 44 on the timer as soon as I said that. All right. Okay. They all popped out by themselves. All right. We'll just take these. <laughs> you have B, Z, and V. All right. Um, interesting. So those could be, those are like weird initials to have. Maybe some people are trying to talk stuff. When I saw B and V, I was like, maybe people are trying to talk stuff about like, I don't know. People might be like, oh, so-and-so goes on a lot of dates or if they've had a lot of partners. Like, you might have people trying to figure out your body count. I hate that. Like, that's middle school. <laughs> that's not middle school. That's high school stuff. Excuse me. Like, body count. How old are we? Um, don't let me go off on that little tangent. Um, I'm going to get some more initials. I just got G, Q, and S. All right. So take all those how it resonates. All right. Um, but I do think you have people playing investigator. Like, what's going on with group number three? Okay. Four of pentacles. Yeah, this very hoarding energy, this very to yourself energy. Some of y'all could have count, could have uh, came into a lot of money or you could have gotten a new job. And so people are pocket watching you. Okay. You might have family members being like, oh, you just got this huge job. Or if you're on social media, you know, they always assume us social media people are rich. Baby. I can't speak for everybody or even some. Baby, I'm broke, okay? But <laughs> they might be seeing you have this really, like, prestigious or traditionally expensive job. And they're like, ooh, so-and-so, like, they can't give me a couple hundred dollars, you know what I'm saying? But I definitely feel like you have people all up in your um, money, your relationship, your everything. Yeah. The Six of Pentacles. It popped out in the reverse, but I want to take it upright. Let's just take it both ways, okay? Um, you might be, people might be perceiving you as stingy with your money. I'm definitely seeing family here. They could be being like, oh, like, you know, so-and-so never wants to, like, give us any money or whatever, yada, yada, yada. But, like, you know, I see them shopping or I, maybe you give your partner money um, and, you know, you don't give your family money anymore because maybe they abused you or maybe they took advantage of you or something. It's something about you cut off resources from a person and now they're just calling you stingy because they can't use you in the ways that they once could use you. All right, take that how it resonates. Um, but yeah, I don't like that. I don't like that for you. Um, I might do a cleanse for y'all. Yeah, I'm just going to do a cleanse right now for y'all because I feel for you. I I know how it is to have people pocket watching. And it's just like, why? I'm not a billionaire. Why do you care about where my funds are going? You know what I'm saying? Okay. I'm just cleansing this energy. I'm cleansing this space. All right. I'm just going to say... Some words for group number three. Please remove all negative intent, all negative energy. I didn't do this for any other group. I didn't have to. But please remove all this negative energy from group number three. Please remove the eyes on what they are trying to keep private. Please let other thoughts about group number three vanish just like this smoke. All right. Ooh, beautiful. I love that smell. A Palo Santo. Um, anyway. Let's get some more cards here. Okay. Beautiful energy. Okay. So you have sorcery here. Okay. So evolution card. And then you have spirit, which is act. You know what? I was, before I, or while I was doing that smoke cleanse, I randomly got a thought of protests. Um, maybe that's because I'm a former protester uh always will be an activist at, at heart but people might have some thoughts about you with your uh political beliefs okay maybe your political beliefs or your spiritual beliefs something about your core beliefs like you're the type of person who takes that seriously like you're not just gonna say like i'll just use a random example you're not just gonna say black lives matter you're actually gonna show up to events um i'm talking about black lives matter like the movement okay i know people have thoughts about things but like you're actually going to stand behind it okay or like uh fighting you know all these ridiculous you know rent prices and stuff like you're actually going to put effort behind it like maybe you're not on the street you know maybe you're not doing this that and the third but 
you're not putting your funds towards certain organizations. Like maybe you are free Palestine. If you are, yes, 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 yes. Um, so it's like, you're always going to intertwine your political. That's so beautiful. I'm getting emotional. It's like, you're always going to combine your political beliefs with everything. And I think that that's fun, especially if your beliefs are to help people. So you have some people who kind of get annoyed by that. And they're like, can your number three just stop talking about this? Like maybe you post a lot on your social media about um, current events that are, you know, hurting people. You know, you could be, a very, I, I know you're a very empathic person. So you feel the pain of others. You feel the pain of the world. You feel that the world needs healing right now. And so you're not just sitting there. You're doing something about it. You're talking about it. Okay. And, and a lot of it, you even have some people I feel like who are saying like, Oh, you know, all they do is talk. If you have a platform or if you have a prominent voice in whatever community you're in, online or offline, you're doing something. All right. Whew, beautiful. Okay. You have Rana Rudo, which is loyalty. You definitely have people like your friends know you're about that life when it comes to them. So you're the type of person who, uh, <laughs> You could be the pull-up friend. Like, I don't know why I'm getting this image of, like, who is that one girl? It's kind of like I'm getting Maddie from Euphoria. I know. I know. You're, I'm kind of, like, getting, like, Maddie from Euphoria vibes almost. Like, when she was, like, found out that, what is even that girl saying? The blonde one was with her dude or whatever. Um, you could be the person who's going to pull up, all right? You're like, who hurt you? Let's, let's go take care of business so people do fear you so i think people wouldn't say these things to your face necessarily because they know that you're about your action like we literally got the act card <laughs> you don't just talk about it you are as <laughs> cliche as that sounds i love doing these readings honestly um you have the seven of <laughs> yeah you have the seven of wands here that's a very act very powerful very boom type of energy to you um and yeah, I feel like you also have this energy of, uh, you could be a temptress a little bit. Okay. You could be very flirty. So maybe this has caused problems in your relationship. You might have some people who think that you're cheating a little bit. Like, they're like, oh, you know, group number one, they always have like a little roster on the side or something. And it's just because, like I said, they want your person. A lot of people do want your person if you're with somebody. Um, or if you just had a breakup, they really wanted that person that you were with. And now they feel like that person is on the market. But honestly, that person is still not over you whatsoever. So if you just had a breakup, baby, they're not over you. I don't like to do love readings on here anymore, but... Yeah, if we had to do a love reading, they not over you. Um, Queen of Swords. I just heard it ain't nothing to cut that B off in the, you know, B-I-T-C-H. Um, I definitely am getting this, you do not mess with group number three type of energy. Okay. And yeah, I feel like you had like this public thing happen that was maybe a shock or a little embarrassing and now people are trying to like get you on that but you're like i'm not embarrassed about that i'm never embarrassed about that you know what i'm saying like very queen of swords protect your energy you know strong poker face okay strong poker face um you know if you're not in some type of leadership you're a naturally like a leader like wherever you go like you could even just be like like if you start a new job you're just like a regular employee like you would quickly climb to leadership or you have people just see you as leadership already because of how uh you are how you exist how you how you navigate the world okay okay yeah bleeding heart the independence card something is very much independent about you you could have had started working really young i'm hearing so you could have been a person who always had a job all right they always had a job or something you've always had your own money this is for a very, very, very select group of people. Some people might be judging you because you might give money to your significant other. Like some of you, I think there's obviously always a lot of women on my pages. Maybe you give money to your partner for whatever reason, or people think that you give money to them and they're judging you about that. They're like, oh, you know, group number one, I heard that they pay half the bills or something. Like everybody is in this sprinkle, sprinkle era. And I get that. I'm in that too. I'm not paying for a man's bill. But like some people don't want to live that way. And I don't give, I don't care what anyone wants to do. It's not for me to judge. As long as you're happy, I do not care. Okay. 
Um, even if you're not happy, that's not for me to be all up in your business about. So if you're sitting there and you're in a happy relationship and maybe you're, maybe you're paying half the bills or a little bit half or more of the bills, but you're happy and whatever, who cares? I think you do have people talking about that though. <sighs> okay. <laughs> you have recognition. Um, I'm just going to read this whole card to y'all because I think the whole thing is important. Sometimes it is easier to bury hurt feelings and difficult emotions. Black-eyed Susan gently helps us to wake up and recognize all aspects of ourselves, even those you deem ugly and unworthy. Even your deepest, darkest truths need to be shown the light of love and honored as part of your human experience. So maybe people kind of viewed you as robotic in the past. Okay, they could have viewed you as a person who was too good to be true. Like, I feel like you do your makeup a lot. Like, I feel like you always have a fresh face on. Like, you always look really good. And maybe because of this heartbreak or just tough times or something, you're not doing that as much. And now people feel like they can try you, but they can't. Okay, and you're repeatedly going to remind people of that. Like, they can't, they can try to try you all they want to. It's not going to work out for them. All right. Um, do you do some type of like protection? Like I said, I know I did that cleanse for y'all, but make sure you're doing your protection work. You can just carry a little um, protection baggie with you. I'm looking at my little protection doll that I have here. She's so cute. Um, but you might be doing a lot of different, you might want to start doing a lot of protection. All right. Okay, yeah, the high priestess, trusting your intuition, getting more in tune with your spirituality. So this could be my group that is a little bit more new to pick a card readings or tarot. Maybe you just saw me on TikTok and you're like, I love the Torah, let me go support her. Um, but I definitely see that you uh, are going to start getting more in touch with your spirituality. And I think it's because of the significant event or events that you have been going through. Okay. So you could be purchasing, if you don't already have your own tarot deck, you could be purchasing one in the near future. Um, and you have people talking more about your spirituality. Maybe you came from, mm, I don't feel like a lot of y'all came from organized religion, but maybe people are just noticing that you're talking about your spiritual beliefs more. You're asking more spiritual slash philosophical questions, okay? Um, and you never used to do this. Maybe you were the person who wrote off spirituality all the time, but now you're just embracing it a little bit more. Take it how it resonates, but you do have some eyes on your spiritual development, okay? Let's get one or two more cards here and then wrap it up. Ten of Wands. It's always the heavy card before you end up. Ten of Wands and Page of Pentacles. Whatever you're going through, you're going to get over all right and i don't just say that you know just to say that i think you do and i think people around you know that too so maybe you're heartbroken over somebody maybe you're heartbroken over an opportunity not going uh you know the way that you wanted it to people people know even though they're talking mad bs <laughs> they know deep down that you are going to come out more successful and more on business and on power than ever all right um Y'all could be taking this, uh, you know, heartbreak as an opportunity to really like glow up. Okay. Maybe you're starting to go to the gym more. Where's my gym squad? Okay. <laughs> uh, but yeah, you're not a person who stays down for long. And people also see that within you. Very resilient type of energy to you. Okay. Um, but yeah, one more card. Let's just get one more. I know. I've pulled a lot of cards for this group because a lot wanted to come out. Any last final things, Spirit? Okay, Ace of Pentacles. Yes. Yeah, that Page of Pentacles. When you have the Ace of Pentacles, that was just the extra confirmation that we needed. I love that. Um, but yes, y'all, this is what I have for you uh, overall. Like I said, please do some type of protection for yourself. Um, and you know, your own cleanse. I know I just did that tiny one for you in the middle of your reading, but just do one for yourself because, you know, we come in contact with so many people, especially if y'all have like your own business and you just see a lot of people every day, or even if you're just like a regular person, excuse me, I tapped the mic really hard. Sorry about that. Um, even if you're just a regular person, we all come in contact with a bunch of people and we're picking up on energies that we don't even know we're picking up on. So that's just a quick note for y'all to um, 
do that cleanse and that protection. Um, I do give personal readings. I do not reach out to you first. Please don't get scammed. That's not me. All right. Um, the only way to get a reading from me is through my Etsy. They are pre-recorded and sent via email. Um, so please be patient. It takes three to five business days. Uh, but yes, y'all, I hope that that reading resonated. Um, and I hope you have a great rest of your day. Thank you. Bye.